Hello all, welcome to C1 CSA PhD training in association with uh, AMB Techno Solutions, Nijam Pet Hyderabad. We are specialists in SAP PhD training and providing complete job assistance by SAP industry experts with more than 15 years of SAP industry experience. We are providing the complete SAP PhD training with real time projects and examples with real time experts. For SAP PhD training queries, please reach out to the below numbers. Thank you. Today, I am going to explain you all about the customer master data. So we all know that how the customer master data is very much important in the SD area. So here, customer master data, yes. All the customer details which are maintained in the form of master data. See, in SAP, the master data cannot be changed frequently. Master data is maintained centrally, especially by FICO consultants, the general data and company code data in real time. And master data is required for all the documents to do the transactions. If you take an example, banking sector, customer number is important. Customer account is also very, very important. When you enter into the bank, you wanted to open a customer account. It requires a lot of authorizations and approvals, like a lot of um, um, documentation is required. You have to give your address details, uh, telephone number, address details, as well as the PAN card details, other card details to confirm your address. In a similar way, once it is created, then it can be used for all the transactions. That means you can do <clears throat> you can do the transactions such as um, uh, ATM withdrawal, cash in withdrawal, and uh, you can use uh, withdrawal forms as well as the checks also. And you can access all the banking documents, banking products with your account number. So that is why we require a master data and we will be called as a customer master data. So customer master data in SAP SD module comprises of three major screens. They are, one is general data where we capture all the address details, such as uh, all the details like mobile, email address, city, country, and region. Company code data, here we capture all the financial details such as reconciliation account, payment terms, and payment history record. Sales area data. Here we capture all the business data such as sales, shipping, and billing, also the partner functions, partner determination procedure details we capture here. We will see one by one now. Also, there are a few uh, frequently used tables in customer master. They are like KNA1, general data, KNB1, company code data, KNVB sales area data, and KNVP customer partner functions. In SAP SD, in SAP SD, there are partner functions, sold to party, ship to party, bill to party, and payer. Here, all these four partner functions can be a single customer or four different customers also. In, in this example, uh, sold to party means who places order with the company, ship to party means who receives the goods from the company, bill to party who receives the bill, and payer who pays the bill. In e-commerce portal, normally, we are sitting at Hyderabad and then we wanted to send goods to, or we wanted to send on a, a mobile phone through any of the e-commerce portal to your one of your friends. He, he stays in Mumbai. So then what you, who is here sold to party? Sold to party is you and ship to party is going to be your, your, your friend who resides in Mumbai. And bill to party also you and the payer, if at all you wanted to pay from your end, then you, you will be a payer or otherwise you can choose that cash on delivery that so that the, your friend only will pay the bill. So in this scenario, the payer is different. So now we will see in the system uh, after this slide. So we require, these are the prerequisites to create customer master data. First, we must have customer account group, which is defined, defined by FICO consultant using the transaction code OBD2 in real time, customer number ranges also defined by FICO consultant using the transaction code XDN1. Company code, yes, we have already seen, it is normally it is created by FICO consultant, but in our practice, regular practice in demo system, we have prepared and we have, uh, we have defined and assigned in the enterprise structure. Sales area, it is 100% by SD consultant. 
we are before going to complete uh, create the customer master data we must have completed the partner determination in the system hence the system will automatically propose all the partner functions into the uh, customer master data sales area tab of the partner functions so we have we were discussing about the customer account group why we require customer account group and why we require number range customer account group is used to control the customer master data at field level at each and every field level we can control the customer master so here for example uh, we can make some of the fields uh, are as mandatory few fields are uh, as optional few fields are as suppressed and few fields are as display only why we require customer number ranges so unless and until there is a number we cannot identify a customer like banking example so each and every customer in each and every bank will be assigned one unique number so that cannot be assigned to any other person also so that is why we require a number range so in sap sd customer master data we use the transaction codes xd01 to create xd02 to change xd023 uh, xg03 to display the customer master data centrally by fico consultant vd01 vd02 and vd03 are the sales area specific that is sales sd consultant will be using this con this transaction codes now i'll go to sap and then we will see what happens in in the system first let us see the customer account groups so here we have already defined the customer account group that is uh, nokia accounts india so i am going to show you what exactly it is going to do in the system when we are creating a customer master data so we can use the path here to create the customer master data or directly we can go to the transaction code and then now i am going to see i am going to show you the customer account groups obd2 transaction here my customer account group is zn k1 which i have already created <clears throat> so this is the a customer account group here so you can see we have given the number range which is four digit alpha numeric key which is identified in the customer account group one time account you can select if it is a one time account that means uh, uh, the customer only purchases only once and output determination procedure here it is not required right now general data this is the field status <clears throat> i was talking about the control the customer account group can be used to control the customer master at field level so i wanted to control at general data screen at address tab so here i have made this name one field as required entry that is mandatory so and then postal code and city also mandatory post box number is also mandatory so i'll show you in the customer master you are going to see that how i have how i have maintained the customer master data with all these field relevance so in the similar way you can control at company code data level also you wanted to make any any particular uh, field as mandatory yes you can do that so here i have made it as reconciliation account as mandatory and then customer number ranges xdn1 slash and xdn1 transaction code here you can see the number ranges so here the number of number ranges already defined in the system and then you can select from your own so which one to be selected and which one to be assigned to the particular customer account group so here z1 z2 z3 z4 which i have created here so uh, <clears throat> based on the number ranges so normally we create around uh, 50 or 20 customers only in the demo system so you can give the uh, small number ranges so that it will be useful it will very easy for you to maintain for whenever you are creating multiple enterprise structures and multiple account groups and then multiple number ranges to be assigned to that so the, in that scenario it will be very useful hence i am going to show you 
in the system spro sa preference img and what is my number range i wanted to show you in the financial accounting and accounts receivable and accounts payable customer accounts master data preparations for creating customer master data here define account groups in this path also we can come and then uh, otherwise we can go to obd to uh, transaction code and create number ranges for customer accounts and assign number ranges for our customer account groups so go to position z and k1 so here i have given my own number range that is zk so here zk represents the number range of what is that one exactly you can come down you can see here in the number ranges the zk series is 500251 to 500270 so that means i can create this many customers 20 customers i can create for this particular account group number ranges assignment and before going to complete uh, before going to create my customer master data i am going to show you the partner determination procedure how the system determines the partner determination here we have to in this definition part only img screen sales and distribution under sales and distribution basic functions here there are majority of the majority of the determination procedures are available and one among them is partner determination so here click on set up partner determination and we are doing it for the customer master set up partner determination for customer master so here there are five steps are there partner functions partner function partner determination procedure partner functions in procedure account groups and function assignment here we do the um, account group like customer account group which we have created and for that what are all the partner functions are involved or responsible for that particular account group those function or partner functions we will be assigning here and the similar way then finally we are going to do the partner determination procedure assignment however partner functions are always there like all these sold to party ship to party bill to party and whatever the required partner functions are for the business then we can define it in the system so now first i am going to see the partner determination procedure which i have created for my business perspective z and k1 see here this is my partner determination procedure first step after the partner function second step select this one go to partner functions in procedure see here i have made it as sold to party ship to party bill to party and payer belongs to this partner determination procedure and here there are not modifiable and mandatory see sold to party is cannot be modified always <clears throat> and it is mandatory bill to party ship to party and payer can be modified modifiable as per the business requirement and then they are mandatory for partner functions in the partner determination procedure so then account groups function assignment here what we do we assign all these partner functions like sold to party ship to party bill to party and payer to our customer account group so first sold to party our customer account group is zn k1 c which we have assigned here then followed by ship to party zn k1 ship to party it is there it is assigned in the similar way i have assigned bill to party and payer also to this partner account group then final step is partner determination procedure assignment in this step we are going to equalize i can say that equalize that means whatever we have defined already the partner determination procedure and in that procedure there are partner functions like sold to party ship to party bill to party and payer already been assigned in the similar way account groups also where we have assigned sold to party ship to party bill to party and payer now we are equalizing that partner determination procedure assignment in this scenario we are making it as account group z and k1 is equal to the partner determination procedure z and k1 hence the system automatically proposes the partner functions in the customer master data when we create a customer master data so now i'll go to the customer master data creation one more screen and in the customer master data screen whatever the fields which i am going to explain you 
please remember that those fields are very very important to perform all your activities so we can create using the path or we can create using the transaction code also say sales and distribution master data business partner customer and here create see there are two option sales and distribution specific that is vd01 so if you go to vd01 screen here there would be a company code so you cannot maintain all the financial related details in the in the master data hence that is in real time that is done by fico consultant but however to practice or to complete our transactions we must have all those details hence we are going to click on xd01 see here you can see the account group customer company code sales order this is sales area details so we have our own customer account group that is zn k1 so here we are not going to enter the customer because it is, the system will automatically propose the internal number range which we have already selected as an option in the customer number ranges creation company code zn k1 sales organization zn k1 zk distribution channel and division zk then press enter so here in this you can see this is the general data and this is a screen we can call it a screen these are the tab tabs address control data payment transactions and all see each screen is comprises comprised of multiple tabs and each tab is comprised of multiple fields and since in the customer uh, in the account group which we have selected name field as mandatory without which the system will not allow you to go to the next screen so here the name 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 field is very very important so i am going to enter pexo technologies and then search term as pexo the street address main road sd uh, main road banjara hills and the door number you can give whatever the business has been given to you the same thing you can give and then the relevant um, pin code postal code we have to give and city hyderabad i have entered it as mandatory country as option countries also it is mandatory and i have selected the option as post box number that is also mandatory so whatever the post box number is there that is given by your client the same number has to be entered so so you can ask one more question you, you one doubt you will be having it here only three there are three lines and if it is more than three lines how we are going to enter the other data just click on this button you can find multiple lines where you can enter multiple address details like multiple lines of address a single address so that can be fulfilled by this and you can also capture the telephone number mobile number and email fax number all those details can be captured over here so with in this this is very very important so and control data payment transactions marketing and loading points are not required but however contact person details and the goods receiving hours those details are very very important for this pexo technologies who is the contact person to deliver the goods as and when you place the order those or those talks can be delivered to this customer and based on the contact person details also you can maintain here so then next we will go to the next screen company code data in company code data reconciliation account see it is see mandatory i have shown you in my previous uh, slides also the reconciliation account as a field status i have made it as mandatory under the company code data while defining my uh, customer account group so reconciliation account is always like 140000 in the in this uh, standard system so which which is like a general ledger account which is used by the system to post the sales revenues when we complete the uh, billing document so that so in this customer account sales revenues will be posted to that respective gl account so that is why this is very very important reconciliation account the other two important fields in this are terms of payment <clears throat> see here terms of payment we maintain at company code level and the sales area level also 
but terms of payment is um, the value will be considered by the system during the reports generation is sales era data level so even if you maintain here even if you don't maintain here no issues but it has to be maintained at the sales era level sales era data level and payment history record suppose you wanted to capture all the payment history of this particular customer then you have to select the option payment history record in the credit customer master data you can see the payment history record of the particular customer after these two fields we can go to sales era data which is very very important for sd consultant so here sales district sales office see i have maintained uh, as sales district sales office and sales group are as mandatory customer pricing procedure are also mandatory so which which district this particular customer belongs to so from the list i have defined already so district hyderabad sales office you can select the options automatically we'll get only one option that is znk1 sales group also one option will be there in the list in the drop down list so customer group which be, whether he belongs to which group whether he belongs to industrial customers or trading companies or public sector or so on whatever it is so based on the options or ba based on the inputs given by your client you have to specify the details over here so you can give industrial customers currency automatically which will be populated right from the company code data which we have already defined as a currency is uh, inr indian rupee will be captured and here customer pricing procedure which is very very important unless and until you enter this value the system will not, will not allow you to proceed further and one more thing here i would like to highlight this field along with few other fields determines the pricing procedure determination so in the last slide after the completion of the creation of the customer master data i am going to explain you the multiple determination procedures which are derived from the customer master data so price group price list customer statistics groups are used by the business to generate the reports so very very important and useful also you can just click on f1 and then see the importance of this field but as of now these are all the important fields which i am entering here item proposal so it is like a customer product proposal we define on document suppose if the customer is placing frequently uh, order for the same lines uh, like uh, he is placing uh, particular material like a b c d four materials he always places for those four materials only then we can create one document that is in va for 51 transaction item proposal and then we can maintain all those products that the system will generate one document number you we have to assign that document number to item proposal so whenever you create a customer master sales uh, sales order the system will automatically propose for this particular customer this or these are all the materials which are already there in the system you can copy it from them and then you can proceed account at customer suppose uh, the company uh, account details you can enter or otherwise it is not required also you no need to enter here then we are going to the next tab that is shipping so here the delivery priority which is as soon as possible or urgent high whatever you wanted to enter you can enter shipping conditions so shipping conditions again is one of the factors to determine the shipping point delivering plant again if you specify the delivering plant here this customer will receive goods from this plant only hence i am not going to enter the delivering plant here and delivering plant is one of the key factors in determining the plant so relevant for pod that is a proof of delivery if he, this particular customer is relevant for pod then you can select this option and then you can specify the number of days so one week or two weeks one week, maximum one week you can specify here so that after the one week you can raise the invoice for this particular customer order combination whether we can combine multiple orders of the same customer to create a single delivery so in this option the system will allow you to select this option complete delivery required bill suppose the customer places an order for 100 quantity and this option is selected for this particular customer when you are creating a sales order if you have uh, entered 100 and then while doing the delivery if you do it 50 then the system will not allow you 
because of this option the system will not allow you to create the complete delivery so partial delivery per item it is blank means partial deliveries are allowed however the maximum partial deliveries are nine only suppose there is there is a one institution or uh, a very big medical college and we are supplying one uh, uh, medicine like paracetamol so here the units uh, they have placed in that complete uh, year they wanted to uh, deliver us around uh, uh, around uh, 1 lakh units so so each delivery con should contain around 20000 units phase by phase so there then uh, each delivery like uh, if it is more than uh, 10000 if it is 10000 then how many deliveries 10 deliveries are required if you give option here 9 then system will stop at nine deliveries only. Tenth delivery we cannot create for this particular customer. Hence, in real time, we are going to keep this maximum partial deliveries as blank. So we are not going to do that. Please remember this is very, very important. Complete delivery required, partial, maximum partial delivery should be blank. Then now we are going to billing documents. Here, invoicing date. Suppose for this particular customer only we have to uh, bill him billing bill him twice in a month then we can specify here uh, we can define the factory calendar for this particular customer and then assign it here so that so for whenever uh, the billing takes place for this particular customer so only we can do it on that particular two days only rebates yes if whether this particular customer is relevant for rebates or not if you don't check this one then this customer will not receive any rebates and along with this rebates uh, with two other fields like sales organization definition part relevant for rebates and uh, and uh, billing document de definition part we have to define the um, uh, relevant for rebates option in quote terms are nothing but uh, like uh, this is defined by the international chamber of commerce to complete the successful transaction between the shipper and the receiving party cost insurance and freight so during the transaction, during the transit, if anything goes wrong, then we can um, claim accordingly. So terms of payment, I already told you that terms of payment is very, very important to be maintained at uh, uh, sales area level. So here, whatever I have created within 15 days, he will be receiving. This is an agreement between the customer and the business. If he pays on time and within uh, time, he will be receiving more than 15% uh, discount or 10% discount and so on. Credit control area, yes. Whether if this particular customer is relevant related to credit control area, then we have to create, define the credit control area and assign here it to credit control area. So that in, in um, credit management, it is very much useful to define, to determine automatic credit control area. Account assignment group, again, this is one of the key factors to determine the revenue, revenue account determination. And finally, the tax determination. So here we can specify zero is no tax, one is tax. It is taxable, full tax. So press enter, then it will take, now if you go to the next screen, you can see here, the system has proposed the sold to party, to party, bill to party and payer because of the partner determination procedure has been already completed by, by us. Now I am saving this one. See, the customer has been created 500253. Go to display. Here you can see the number. So 500253 is, is a sold to party, he is a ship to party, he is a built to party, and he is a payer. If different ship to parties are there, we have to define in the system with a different account number range and assign it to here so that for this particular customer multiple ship to parties can be maintained like payers and bill to parties also we can manage and we can show it here so so we can see here general data what address details are mandatory company code data reconciliation account is mandatory and uh, payment history record terms of payment if it is required you can maintain if it is not required no need to maintain sales area data whatever the fields i have maintained here are very very important and very much useful so before going to close, I already uh, explained you that um, multiple, we can derive multiple uh, determination procedures. So here you can see the field which is coming from customer master data, general data screen, that is transportation zone is relevant for route determination. 
customer pricing procedure from sales area data sales screen say which is relevant for pricing procedure determination delivering plant which is a source that is sales area data shipping plant determination shipping conditions sales area data shipping shipping point determination rebates customer sales area data billing that is rebates determination credit control area for automatic credit control management in credit management account assignment group of customer master which is related which is uh, one of the key factors to determine revenue account determination tax classification of the customer master data is relevant for the tax determination and partner functions we are we have already defined it in the partner determination procedure so this is these are the very very important key points and which we have discussed one by one like uh, prerequisites in cost creating customer master data frequently used tables and what are the what is the definition part of partner functions and what are all the important screens which we are dealing with in customer master data creation general data company code data sales area data screen and we have completed the customer master data creation also in the system so thank you all please subscribe to c1 csapsd training youtube channel thank you thank you very much